Boundary changes are being presented to Clark County Schools, and some of these could actually impact your kids. The major proposals, Denise, are for changes in the growing Northwest and Southeast Valley areas. Joshua Piguera was at today's meeting with why certain schools are being impacted. Joshua. Now, these changes are meant to ease the overcrowding of high schools, and with several homes being developed in these areas, there's a concern that until more schools are built, things will get worse. Arborview is packed. There's 24 portables. Um, there's no space available for the kids to eat at lunch. Uh, my son goes to the school there, so I'm very well aware of the packed classroom sizes, and there's no space available for the for the school to grow on its own. Lydia Ruiz sits on the Attendance Zone Advisory Commission that covers the Northwest Valley. The group voted in favor of a proposal that moves about 200 students from Arborview High School to Centennial. It also sends 20 students from Indian Springs to Centennial. As you can see on the map, Centennial's boundary has been expanded. That area is booming right now. The, it's not just built and purchase permits. They are putting um, houses down. Alex McGurk has a son at Arborview High School. She thinks the zoning commission is ignoring families in the far northwest. We have more future development coming, and we do not have a school proposed until 2028. That means we have to go six more years it with only two high schools. Money has been set aside for a new high school to be built in the Northwest Valley. There are currently 728 12th graders at Arborview and 625 at Centennial. Another high school boundary change focuses on Henderson sending 277 Coronado students to Green Valley High School. Green Valley's boundary is extending south to the 215 between Green Valley Parkway and Stephanie. This is to provide enrollment relief for Coronado. Anna Bender represents this district. Right now, um, you know, people complain a lot about our schools being overcrowded, but our most overcrowded schools are our high schools. These new boundary changes still have to be adopted by the Clark County School District trustees. That meeting is scheduled for next Thursday. Kirsten? Thank you very much, Joshua. Another change includes shrinking the boundary of Ellis Elementary School in Henderson. Some students will now be sent to Wallen Elementary.